Hi, Melissa here from Morgans Off the Leash. Thanks for tuning in. We have a special guest for our series, Meet the Morgans. That's right, Mike Morgans up next. I want to tell you thanks so much for being here, subscribing, watching, and all your kind comments and support. I really appreciate it, and the rest of the family does too. Um, especially Hunter, he's really stepped up to this, <laughs> following me around. I pull my phone out for anything. He kind of instantly gravitates to my surroundings and kind of thinks, is she going to take a picture or do some video? It's just been a great thing. I appreciate the support and uh, I don't know, I just, my heart is full. I, I really appreciate it. How Morgans Off the Leash came to be is being part of Outdoors with the Morgans. I just started using my camera on my phone to show things that the kids and the dogs and I are doing. So it gives you a, a behind the scenes or more of a personal uh, intimate look of the Morgans and what we do. So thanks so much for being here, but yeah, stay tuned. We are gonna ask Mike Morgan some good questions. Here we have Mike Morgan from Outdoors with the Morgans. Thank you so much for being here with us today. <laughs> I have good questions. I'm, I'm terrified that... <laughs> about these questions. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? He was kind enough to offer to use his cameras and I'm sure he can help me with the editing. So hopefully you'll see everything. All right, so growing up- How many up, questions do you have? A couple, a couple dozen. Oh boy, all right, go ahead. We'll breeze through them. Number one. Yeah, so growing up, what sports did you play? Uh, baseball, mostly baseball. I started playing when I was, uh, I don't know, probably seven or eight years old. No, I take that back playing you know just in town with my buddies but uh i didn't start playing little league until i was i think 10 and then i played baseball up through to what else 28 or 29 years old you know you had little league pony league colt league legion baseball and then eagle county baseball which was a pretty good league and played up to i was about 28 or 29 years old and i uh pitched played first base caught and some third base. You like being a catcher? Yeah, I like being a catcher. I did. Good. I was a catcher in softball. Okay, any other sports in your lifetime? No other uh, organized sports. I mean, I played some basketball. I wasn't any good at it. And uh, a little bit of football, baseball, I was pretty good at. Uh, but it's kind of weird. I'm pretty coordinated, hand-eye coordination. He but, really is. But basketball, I didn't have a left hand. Just couldn't, uh. couldn't do that. Uh, but uh, ping pong, or as I like to call it, table tennis, uh, I, I was pretty good at that. And I still play some now. I'm not as good, near as good as I used to be at it. Uh, I don't think it's, I think it's because of my eyes. I can't see as well. But uh, yeah, I was really good at uh, ping pong of all things. We played for days when I was a kid with, uh, you know, my friends and I. And even up to a couple years ago even now we still play every once in a while he loves ping pong i love ping pong i like to call it table tennis but uh yeah. the kids call it ping pong and he always challenges each one of them and of course he stands strong to say he's defeated each one of them yeah yeah what about hunting you've always hunted always hunted uh, ever since i was 12. uh it's kind of different now because you can take kids out that are even younger than that i think i went out a few times with my dad when i was younger than 12 but didn't actually go myself until i was 12 years old and most of the hunting i've done was in this area right here because we bought this property that joins uh, my mom and dad's place and i mean i've hunted in west virginia some in different areas but primarily on our property uh, mostly deer turkeys uh, small game used to be huge back in the day you know what i mean when i was growing up that was that was kind of bigger than deer season yeah and uh pheasant and rabbit and uh we had a beagle he was a good rabbit dog and we really enjoyed uh we really enjoyed the small game season but over the years uh there's just way more predators yeah. than there used to be the hawks the foxes the coyotes and there's not as much small game but we have things like turkeys now we have plenty of deer now we have some bear that are passing through when I was a kid, it was a big deal to see a turkey. Right. I mean, it was a big deal. Like I said, I remember the first turkey that I ever saw, and now hey, you see them every day. They're everywhere. But we don't see any pheasants. No. Over the years, I, in the last 10 years, I've probably seen one. It's just, and it's our state bird. Okay, what was your favorite subject in school? Uh, math. I knew it. I like math for some reason. 
didn't really like school too much, but I did. Uh, I like math. I'm, we did not go to school together. We went to different schools. We didn't meet until after school. Yeah. Oh, you know, school is behind us. But Mike is intelligent. I am thankful for I'm that. I'm not intelligent at all, but I like. I, I am good at math, adding things up in my head and stuff. He loves math. He loves numbers. And I do not. So I really appreciate that. And um, thankfully, most of our kids have a math brain and they're coordinated. That's important. <laughs> yeah. What else do you have? What was your favorite childhood memory? Or one that you want to share? He, Mike loves memories from his childhood in high school. Man, and the kids can recite like all of them. There's the so time. many. My favorite one? I don't, it's hard to it's hard to pin down like my favorite childhood memory uh, we live about a mile a little over a mile from town a small town and my summers as a as a kid uh, I'd get on my bike and ride into town and hang out with my buddies and uh, everyone had campers back then we had an old frolic camper and I think camping out in a camper was always fun and a lot of my friends families they had campers too but yeah, we just kind of ran around a ton. I enjoyed, you know, it was fun and playing baseball and all that stuff. Or going out to my buddy Kenny's house. Mm -hmm. They had a setup out there. They had a pool, a volleyball net, a regular uh, backstop for a baseball field. So we spent a lot of time at their house uh, running around. But I don't really have one, that, unless I mentioned it and I can't remember what it is. You know of any that? There's ones that probably aren't made for this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little different nowadays. <laughs> yeah, things that we were like. But all in all, I just enjoyed that whole yeah period of my life. And his childhood friends, he stays in touch with to this day. Oh yeah, we're still good friends. Talk weekly. Yeah. With most of them. I like that. All right. What do you fear? What do I fear? Or what makes you feel? Uh, you don't like or fearful or... Oh, I know, that one. Oh. <laughs> the only thing I'm really afraid of is when I'm walking down the hall at night and getting ready to go to bed, and I'm wondering if she's actually in bed or she's gonna jump out and scare me because she loves to scare me, and I don't like that at all. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's just, really the only thing thrill. that scares me. I know. I've, I've mentioned before in videos on Outdoors with the Morgans, I've hid in the chicken coop. That was the worst one ever. Up to an hour, yeah, and um, I came home and it was getting dark, and I went to close up the chicken coop, and the doors open, all the chickens are in there, and I reached in and she was behind the door, grabbed my arm. Whew. I thought awesome. I was gonna have a blast of the ticker. It was awesome. What else you got? What motivates you? Ah, uh, I don't know. Everything kind of motivates me. Uh, everything. I mean. In what way? Like, well, the family joke is <laughs> the kids are always like Father's Day was just, you know, just passed, and the kids are always known for writing cards or making cards or, or giving their dad a tribute, and it's that he's always a hard worker, and he is. He is a hard worker. He's always provided. Um, we'll be married 30 years, and I've known him to do almost anything to make money to provide for the family. There's Many, many times that, you know, we did check the couch cushions for change. Oh, we had a milk. lot of lean years er yeah. early on. And we got married, you know, pretty young. And we had Hunter, our son with autism, and it was tough. Yeah. And I was working out of town and then always had something going on on the side. But, I, I mean, my family motivates me. Really, everything motivates me. I do. I, I love life. I love being outside. I don't like to just sit around you know what i mean wait the, for something at the end of each day i like to just look back and feel a sense of accomplishment and some days you know we all are you know there's days i just don't feel like doing anything and i'll actually force myself to at least get something done and uh, try to get ahead of the game a little bit because each day if i don't i'm in a bad mood that night if i, I can't just go to bed without accomplishing at least a few things each day and uh this channel motivates me as well. All you guys, you motivate me. Uh, my family, everything motivates me. Even, believe it or not, even like the haters on YouTube and, and social media, that motivates me as well, you know? Keep doing it. 
it just what do they say the haters are your motivators everything yeah. motivates me uh, it just cracks you up you know there's there's a few of them you know and I'm not gonna turn this into that but I, I just sit back and chuckle I do there's so many people tell you you're doing this wrong or doing that wrong right. and I just keep doing my thing and uh, but yeah everything That's motivates me if that answers your question okay yeah <clears throat> all right what is your favorite band or song like I think I know this one I don't think you do I'm gonna say his favorite band happens to be his favorite food <laughs> or meatloaf yeah I like meatloaf <laughs> both the food and the band but I think my favorite song is Thunderstruck by ACDC. Oh. I think that's my favorite song. It's like a motiv motivating. It is. Yeah. But yeah, I always like Meatloaf. That was a good... Uh, dashboard. Yeah. Paradise by the Dashboard yeah. Light. That was a good song. But yeah, I like different types of music. Uh, listen to a little bit of everything. Mostly just when I'm working. But uh, it's weird. The older I get, the more I revert back to that music... Uh, you know, like the ACDCs and stuff like that. Stuff that, that yeah, brings it up. Yeah. yeah. I can seriously listen to a song and it takes me back to my high school days. I can remember what outfit I had on <laughs> and my hairdo, my friends, what we were doing. Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah. It's the same with cigarette smoke, though. I, there's certain smells. And cigarette smoke is one of them. And most people, if you don't smoke, you don't like cigarette smoke. I never smoked in my life. I love cigarette smoke. No, I shouldn't say love. It doesn't make me say, yuck, this is awful. You just like the it a brings whiff back, of it. A whiff of it brings back such good memories. My dad's family smoked oh, and yeah. they were the kindest, nicest people. You know, Bloody Mary in one hand, cigarette in another, and holding a big candy dish going, come on in, have some. <laughs> I'm like, really? Yeah, and there's oh. Coke in the refrigerator. Help yourself. I'm like, Goodness, I never want to leave here. <laughs> I never smoked e either, but uh, boy, growing up, everybody did. I not not so much the kids. Everybody's parents. You know what I mean? Yeah. E everyone. Uh, well, when that was back in the day, where our kids can't believe it when we tell them that you could get cigarettes out, out of, of a, a vending, vending machine. machine. <laughs> yeah. They were like, "What?" I'm like, "Yeah." And that was funny. I never smoked, and like you could get them if yeah, you wanted to. I just right never, machine. never did. Fun. Okay. All right. Um, what's your favorite movie? Hmm. Favorite movie? Sandlot. Oh, that would be your favorite, yeah. Sandlot was a great movie. Uh, yeah, that's probably my favorite movie. And the Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, Caddyshack was a fantastic movie. There's, they don't make movies like they used to. Yeah. And I, I don't watch movies anymore. Uh, occasionally, last year we went to a couple. But like, there's, I don't even remember what they were. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even remember what they were, but Caddyshack was a great movie. Uh, but Sandlot would have to be my favorite. <clears throat> we have a couple that we like together. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Tommy Boy. We have a really uh, high level of <laughs> everything's Chris Farley or yeah. Dan Aykroyd or something like that. Oh, uh, what about Bob? That's a funny one. Great movie there too. One of my favorite movies from like a way back was Red Dawn. Oh, I loved that Red Dawn movie. Yeah, I did. Oh, the original right. Red Dawn. I remember I took the kids to see the new one, and the guy that was in it was like on some little kid show. Remember? You know what I'm talking about? He was on like iCarly or oh, something, right. and he's like the hero. And I'm like, this isn't gonna work because I remember when my kids were little watching him. He's not Red Dawn material, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, Red Dawn, all-time favorite though is Sandlot, great movie. What else you got? Okay, if you could sit down and have a conversation with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh boy. I'd say George Washington. Oh, that's a very good one. Yeah. That would be cool. That's a, that's a tough question because there's a lot of, yeah, but I'd say Washington. All right, what? do you find takes up too much of your time and it doesn't have to be useless or my job traffic driving my job. A lot. <laughs> uh, I have a great job and I like it but the most frustrating part about my job is the driving I do I do a lot of driving I like meeting people getting that taking you know care of stuff or looking at jobs and meeting with contractors it's the getting from point A to point B 
And sometimes I do like audio books and things like that to kill some of that dead time, but I see it as just wasted time and I don't know, but. I'm sure um, many of you that are in the, you know, have to travel with your jobs can yeah. say the same thing. The audio books are good though to help you. At least you get something yeah. out of that time. Podcasts, yeah. We only have so much time here. Okay. Well, keep in mind, this is my show. Oh. How would you say life is different now than 10 years ago? 10 years ago? Actually, when I dated Mike, one thing he would always ask me, I don't know if you remember this, he what would always say- What are you gonna do say, in five years? Or? Yeah, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm like, okay, if you ask me that again, not with you. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing different now from 10 years ago, at least for me, is I think I'm more relaxed. Yeah. I used yeah. to be, I wouldn't say stress, but a lot more high strung and had to do everything right now and I'm not like that anymore. That's true. You have calmed. Okay, next question. What does your perfect day look like? Okay, it has to start with the perfect weather if you're gonna have the perfect day. Okay. okay. It's gotta be cool. And then the perfect breakfast. In the fall, uh, bacon, eggs, white toast. He loves breakfast. He always has. Uh, out cutting some firewood, splitting some firewood, and then just being out here on a fall day has to has a lot to do with the weather. You know what I mean? When you're out here in the fall and the air is just crisp and cool, and uh, just hanging out in the woods, but that's that's that'd be a perfect day. And with, bringing the cameras along. Yeah. He's always went out in the woods to get away from people. Now I bring cameras. And now, with me. yeah, he brings you all along. It's, it's a good thing. What else you got? Oh, um, any mistakes in life? That you've learned a lesson from hundreds okay any in specific uh you want to share i don't know i think we uh, i've always learned from my mistakes and you know and i don't know i can't think of one in particular uh for a while there i never finished college or anything i went to college for just a little bit and right after that i thought boy i should have you know done better in college or applied myself more but now I look back at it and I was like, no, I'm happy with the path that I took. I am, uh, you know, we worked hard. Like we had jobs out working construction uh, as a blaster and uh, I wouldn't change anything for the world, you know, on that kind of that stuff. That makes sense. And I just yeah. heard it, um, that the government has put out a thing that they will no longer ask people where they went to college. It's going to be based on the skill. Really? I just heard that yesterday. Huh. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I learned from any mistake. I've made a lot of mistakes, you know what I mean? I think, I think we all do, but I think it, we all do you have. learn from them? Right. Yeah. Good. Okay, fun question. Would you skydive or scuba dive? Neither. He wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would skydive. I Yeah, she would, not me. Scuba dive? No way. I, I'd be closer to scuba diving than I would be skydiving. Not me. Not for me. Oh my goodness. No. Just putting a mask on makes me anxious. Um, okay, this is kind of maybe already asked in a different form is, what could you spend all your time doing? If you... Just being home and with everybody, you know what I mean? Like I, that would be uh, what I'd like to do. I mean, we like to go places as far as, we like to go out west once a year. I don't know what we're gonna do this year, but uh, I like to stay home and I like when everybody is home. I like when we're all having fun doing whatever it is we do, but it makes me feel good when everybody's home on a nice day. That's what I like. All right, is there anything that you can do that you don't think a lot of people can do? That I can do that a lot of people can't do? Uh, I don't know. I can juggle. I can juggle just with uh, three balls and I actually learned how to do that in 20 seconds probably. When we were kids at a baseball game sitting on the bench here in between innings, you know, our team was up and Kenny could juggle and I just grabbed three baseballs and it might have taken me two or three times but I could juggle. So, yeah, I've never been able to do four though, I never really tried but yeah. He's very coordinated, Good. you have good eye coordination. Kind of funny, out of like 800 some videos on uh, Outdoors with the Morgans, I think I've told everyone more about me in this video. Yeah, you're welcome. 
I am. Um, you know, in my video number 15, I did Hunter Morgan for Meet the Morgan series, and it cost me a couple Diet Cokes. When I did the girls, it cost me lunch. This, it cost me big time, just know that. Okay, so what is, um, second to the last question, what is something you'd suggest that would be the best way a person could spend their time? I, I would say doing whatever they're good at and that they want to do you know what I mean I always say like I don't care what business somebody's in or what they're into I appreciate uh, anyone that like puts into work and uh, tries to make improvements in their lives in the lives around the lives of other people around them you know what I mean I don't I don't know I'm not like a motivational speaker type or anything like that but I if you're asking my advice, it'd just be keep moving forward, keep doing what you like, and uh, and see if it goes somewhere, you know? That's really... Good. And then the last question is almost similar. Um, what is that one secret to life that you could share with someone? And there's a lot of secrets to life. Get up early. Yeah. I wish they did a video on that a couple yeah a couple days ago but yeah I think getting up early is this is you know obviously there's a lot more to life than just getting up early but I think that is a big thing I really do uh, it's just a great time of day and you can get a lot of things done and you can get your mind clear and uh, I remember years ago I took you know when I was a kid I slept in too but I took Levi and my nephews down to West Virginia deer hunting and we we're kind of bouncing over different areas, you know, one night here and it's and one morning we got up like at four o'clock in the morning and uh, We had to head north for a while. It's like nine in the morning and they were just blown away I was like, what's going on back there? They're all talking. They're like, it's like we got a whole nother day in You know what I mean? Just because they got up early. I'm like, you should try it more often Ugh. More than once a year. But yeah, I'd say that's That's it. Get up early. Good. All right, did anyone recognize anything different in the um, the setting of this video? Oh yeah. Mike's usually over here on Outdoors with Morgans. That's true. I didn't so, even notice that. I kind of noticed it halfway through. Well, this, well, since it's her video, I'm going to let her finish it up. Yeah. Well, we want to thank Mike so much for being a part of Morgans Off the Leash and bringing the finale to the series Meet the Morgans. I might do one more of just myself. We'll see. It's hard for me to do both interviewing. I'll ask you questions. Okay, so maybe Mike will help me do that. Good idea. Well, thanks so much. I really appreciate you being here and watching, supporting us. Uh, go ahead and click like, subscribe, share these with your friends. They might be interested as well. And always comment down below. We love to hear from you. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.